Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I must say our blessings. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to regross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed you, Adonai Eloheinu, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten you, may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is Revelations 8, 6 through 9, 12. Now the seven angels who were who had the seven trumpets prepared to blow them. The first angel blew his trumpet, and there followed hail and fire mixed with blood, and there was thrown upon the earth. And a third of the earth was burned up, and a third of the trees were burned up, and all the grass was burned up. The second angel blew his trumpet, and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood, and a third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. The third angel blew his trumpet, and a great star fell from heaven blazing like a torch, and it fell on a third of the rivers and on the springs of water. The name of this star is Wormwood. A third of the waters became Wormwood, and many people died from the water because it had been made bitter. The fourth angel blew his trumpet, and a third of the sun was struck, and a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, so that the third of their light might be darkened, and a third of day might be kept from shining, and likewise a third of the night. Then I looked and I heard an eagle crying with a loud voice as it flew directly overhead, Woe, woe, woe to those who dwell on the earth. At the blast of the other trumpets, the three angels are about to blow. And the fifth angel blew his trumpet, and I saw a star fallen from heaven to earth, and he was given a key to the shaft of the bottomless pit. He opened the shaft of the bottomless pit, and from the shaft the rope rose smoke, like smoke of a great furnace, and a star in the air were darkened with the smoke from the shaft, and from the smoke came locusts on the earth, and they were given power like the power of scorpions of the earth, and they were told not to harm the grass of the earth, or any of the green plants or trees, but only those people who did not have the seal of Elohim on their foreheads. They were allowed to torment them for five months, but not to kill them. And their torment was like a torment of a scorpion when it stings somebody. And in those days people will seek death and will not find it. They will long to die, but death will flee from them. In appearance the locusts were like horses prepared for battle, and on their backs were what looked like crowns of gold. Their faces were like human faces, their hair like women's hair, and their teeth like lion's teeth. They had breastplates like breastplates of iron, and the noise of their wings was like <clears throat> the noise of many chariots with horses rushing into battle. They have tails and stings like scorpions. And their power to hurt people for for five months is in their tails. They have a king over them. The angel of the bottomless pit, his name is Hebrew, is Abaddon. And in Greek, he is called Apollyon. The first woe has passed. Behold, two woes are still to come. Blessed art thou, Adonai Eloheinu, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah. Bruka ta Adonai Eloheinu, Moraka alone. Asher natalinu teredi met, vaishie elom natapeket betekenu, Bruka ta Adonai, natina Torah.